in bhagavad gita krishna says a lot of things which don't make sense you know it's it's very mystical for example he says that this world of forms is born from formlessness the manifested world is born from the unmanifest and it will go back into our how is that even possible that something is born from nothing but quantum physics today says something strikingly similar it says that emptiness is not empty it is full of potential and in an experiment where the scientist kept two metal plates very close to each other in vacuum no air particles the plates were not charged and they were pulled together with a measurable difference and this invisible force is quantum fluctuations that are waves of energy that never stop called as quantum vacuum basically what it says is that emptiness is not empty it is full of hidden potential so now when krishna says that the unmanifested world is manifesting this world that the forms are coming from formlessness kind of starts making sense doesn't it think about it hari om